Let's work on your balance. First, we're gonna start with just standing on the pro trainer. Step onto the pro trainer with your feet about hip width apart. Your arch is center over the white line in the center. Have something nearby to hold on to just get used to it at first. Then as you feel confident, take your hand away, place them on your hips. You can practice just standing here and holding this for anywhere from 15, 30 seconds. You can then start to practice shifting your weight forward slightly in the forefoot and then backwards into the heels. This is a little bit more difficult for me. After you feel code doing narrow base of support like this, we can turn and practice tandem stance where your just feet are lined up behind each other, center on that white line, again holding on to something at first, and then we come put our hands behind our, on our hips and we hold this position for 30 seconds. To increase challenge, you can gently turn your head right and left, doing as much as tolerated. Third, to even practice further, let's put our foot center over this white line, hold on to something, and then we're gonna drive this standing leg through the ground, lifting up the opposite leg for single leg stance. Make sure you're really thinking tall through this leg. You want that leg totally activated. And then as you feel confident, take your hand away from the balance and stare at something straight ahead. You can start to look your eyes left and right. I'm not going to do that. This is a challenge enough for me. Working up to holding this 30 seconds. This is great for foot and ankle health. Here we're going to be practicing squats on the pro trainer. So you want to get make sure your foot, the arch of your foot is center over this line and then you're going to get in your squat stance now you might be a little bit narrow than you usually are just because of the sides but here you know get about hip width just outside turn your toes zero to ten degrees out i suggest you have something nearby to hold on just to start with and then you could advance to no hands okay so then what we're going to do we're going to work on going down to parallel to what you can tolerate Maintaining equal weight through those feet, you're gonna feel the pro trainer challenging your balance. That's the beauty of this. And then we come back up, pushing your feet straight through the pro trainer. Again, you can use this if you want for balance and then start to advance moving away from that. This is such a great tool for working on balance and strength in your legs and your feet and your core. It's really a great total body workout. Oh yeah. So just work on this, and if you want to improve the up the ante a little bit, you can pick up your speed too. But I advise you start slow with support nearby, and then advance as tolerated. For this exercise, we're working on ankle balance as well as hip strength. So you're gonna place your foot right in the center of the pro trainer. We're gonna level our hips up forward, and then we're just gonna practice doing some dynamic lunges, bringing that back knee down to about center to where your hip is level with the knee, and then we'll come back up. This definitely adds a big challenge as you're pushing up, so make sure you're pushing your full foot through that pro trainer as we come up. I am shaking as we get to the top. This is such a good exercise. Now, if we wanna up the ante and we wanna train our soleus, we're going to shift our foot back just a little bit on this pro trainer, and then we're gonna maintain 75% weight in the front, and then we're just gonna lift that heel up and then come down. This is excellent for Achilles strengthening, soleus strengthening, really good for runner's strength and overall. This is a dynamic lunge we're gonna do on the pro trainer. Place your foot center over the pro trainer. Get in your lunge stance so that back knee is in line with your hip. We're gonna lunge down about halfway to where this hip is parallel with the knee. Grab something light, I have a ball here. We're gonna bring it outside the hip. Eyes follow the ball as best as you can. And then we bring it up outside the opposite shoulder, head turning with the ball. If you wanna minimize the instability, don't move your head with the ball. Stare at something straight ahead. Repeat five to 10 times outside one hip, and then we're gonna repeat outside on the other hip. Same thing, five to 10 times, then repeat on the other leg. This is such a great tool for increasing ch uh, balance challenge at the ankle, knee, hip, and the core.
This is a lateral lunge on the pro trainer. Place your foot center over the line on the pro trainer. Use your hands if you'd like to assist getting into a lateral lunge. You're gonna sit back into your hip so weight is distributed evenly through your foot. We're then going to sit over laterally as far as you can, letting this left knee lengthen, and then push through the foot to come up into a tall stance. Again, send that hip back, sitting evenly through the whole foot. Again, push up. You should feel your glutes working on this lunging leg, letting that knee come out and driving through your foot as you come up. This is a dynamic lateral lunge on the pro trainer. We're gonna get our foot center over the pro trainer. Get into our lateral lunge, grab a light ball. As you sit back into a lateral lunge, you're gonna bring this ball outside the hip and look at it or look forward. And then we push up, bring it up to the outside shoulder. This is an excellent drill for basketball or any sport related exercise where you have to play keep away. I like to do this five to 10 reps on one leg and then we'll repeat on the other leg.